Hey guys, it's Sasha with Rice and Raw, and I want to take you through a booty targeted workout. This workout can be done at home as well, with or without weights. So let's get started. I started off my workout with sumo goblet squats. The goblet squat is where you hold the weight up by your chest, and I'm squatting in a sumo position. You can see my feet are wider than shoulder width, and my feet are splayed out slightly. For this type of squat, I like to go below parallel. So you can see I go really deep into the squat. Both regular squats and sumo squats will target quads, hamstrings, glutes, and hip flexors. However, the sumo squat will put more emphasis on your abductors, which are your inner thighs and your glutes. I warmed up using 45 pounds for two sets of 10 reps. If you'd like to challenge yourself more in this lift, you can pause for a few seconds when you're in your squat. Remember, you want to take these slow and controlled. Check your feet to make sure your weight is in the back of your heels. Then I up my weight to 55 pounds for two sets of eight reps. Next, I switched over to another variation of the sumo squat. In this exercise, I hold the dumbbell between my legs. I'm standing on some weights to allow me to go deeper into the squat as the dumbbell will limit my range of motion. Now it's really important when you're doing this to keep your back straight and your shoulders back. If you find you're hunching, drop to a lower weight. Here I did 65 pounds for 12 reps and 75 pounds for another 12 reps. Then I moved on to stiff-legged deadlifts with a 60-pound bar. Now I would suggest for anyone who is new to this lift to start with a lighter weight. This move will blast your hamstrings and you want to make sure you're able to walk during the next couple of days. So go light on this in the beginning and see how you feel for the following days and then you can up your weight from there. It is so important when performing this exercise to keep your back straight and your shoulders pulled back. Similar to the last exercise, if you find that you're unable to keep your back straight during this lift, drop to a lower weight. Form is key with any deadlift variation. How far down you go in a stiff legged deadlift depends on your flexibility, but what is important to pay attention to is the placement of the bar. You want it to follow a straight line plane from the top of the lift to the floor. You don't want to be moving the bar back and forth. You want to be moving it straight up and down. You can also use dumbbells as well to perform this exercise. Next up is hip thrusters. So in this variation of hip thrusters, I have my back on the bench. Starting from sitting on the floor, I lift my hips all the way up to create a tabletop. When you push the weight up, you almost want to feel like you are hyperextending your hips to really target those glutes. When you're at the top of the motion, try pausing briefly and squeeze your glutes to fully engage. At the end of my set of 10, I hold it at the top for as long as possible, so you will really, really feel this in your glutes. Take the time to really focus on your mind to muscle connection. Every rep should be done with purpose. For this exercise, I usually like to use 60 pounds for six sets of 10 reps, pausing at the top during the 10th rep of every set. I finished off my workout with some lunges. I find that conventional lunges bother my knees, but this variation of the lunge where I step back from an elevated position doesn't bother my knees at all. While standing on a step up platform, lunge backwards, and when you come back up, I like to bring in my knee all the way up to make sure I am completing the motion. Pay close attention to the leg that is stationary because that's the leg that will be taking the brunt of the work. Remember, mind to muscle connection. I usually do 10 reps on each side, slowly increasing my weight so that I complete six sets for each leg. And of course, at the end of every workout, I stretch for 10 to 15 minutes. When I stretch, I tend to focus on my hamstrings and my hip mobility. Thank you guys for watching. 
Please press the like button down below if you enjoyed this video and want to see more workout routines and subscribe to get new videos every Thursday.